Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Hutton's Computer Repair here with a video for you. On this video, we're going to be showing you three ways to remove or disable the Action Center in Windows 10. So pretty much the first one's pretty simple. We're going to go to settings and just uncheck it. So then pretty much the Action Center will be disappeared. Very simple option. Another option that we can do is bring pretty much using the registry editor that will be able to do this pretty much on all different versions of Windows 10 and that is pretty simple to do. And the third one will pretty much doing using a program called group pause that contains on Windows but this is only available for people who have Windows 10 Pro or like Enterprise for this to work. Regardless we're going to go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so first one is pretty simple. We're going to go ahead and go to start and go to settings and you should come up to this location. And then from there you should see a selection where it says personalization. Go ahead and select it. From there you should see something called taskbar. And it pretty much comes up. And once you get to there, you'll see something that says turn off and on on system right here. Turn system icons on and off. Go ahead and select it. Give it a little second for it to come up. And what you're going to look for is where it says Action Center, you just turn off and the Action Center is now off. Now technically if you have other icons you can customize them too while we're there. This is pretty much the same concepts here. But that's how you can pretty much disable and remove the Action Center for it. So it's gone now and there it is again. That's pretty much for the first one. Now let's go ahead and go to the second option. Alright, so for the options you're through registry editor, and this is pretty much, you can probably create the file too. I might show you how to do that later. It's pretty simple though. All we're going to do is go to search bar, and we're going to go ahead and type it rig edit, and you should come up to this system. And you'll probably be prompted to go ahead and press yes. And it may not look like this. Most likely yours should look something like this by default. I've probably edited stuff before, that's why it looked a little different right there. Regardless, you're going to go to current user, and then from there you're going to go ahead and go to software. And you're going to go to a folder named Policies, and it probably would look like this too, like that. Next, you'll pretty much choose Microsoft, and then you'll choose Windows. And if the file does not exist, you might need to create it. So, let's go ahead and create that file. We're going to create a new key, and this key is going to be called Explorer. And there's the folder pretty much created. And next, be sure you have it selected. And we're pretty much going to create a new D word. So to this, you would pretty much right click on it and select new. And be sure you choose D word 32 bit value and select it. And we're going to type in disable notification center. And let me make sure everything is spelled correctly. I think it looks correct. And we're going to pretty much going to double click it. And we're going to change that value to 1. Now you can also can right click on it and so it's modify. It gets you to the same location too. But there we have it. And right now it is still there. And to be sure if this actually works, I'm actually going to go ahead and restart the computer and see what happens. Depending on here, I don't think I have to fully restart. I think if I just sign out, we might be able to just get back to it disappeared. So let me go ahead and just sign out and see what it does. And it looks like it is actually gone now. So the Action Center is not there and it's not in this list. So if I pretty much go to, I just want to randomly going to go to settings and go to that separate, different option that I went to, that personalizations. And we're going to go to taskbar and go to, where was it at? The turn system icons on and off. And technically, I don't even have the options to select it. So it's limited on the option. So I can't customize this. It's literally disabled by registry. So to bring it back, we're pretty much going to go ahead and type in reg edit again. Probably be prompted. Go ahead and press yes. And remember, so I was just at, if not, you would just have to go to the same location. And all you have to do is pretty much, you have the options to click the file and put zero. And that will do the work. Or second option is pretty much if you don't want the files there, you can pretty much delete it. And you can technically delete the folder too if you don't want it either. And you should be good. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go ahead and just sign back out of this one again and sign back in and we're going to see what happens and here's the action center that is pretty much back again 
and that's pretty much how to do the registry options. Now for the last option, we again, you had to have Windows 10 Pro or Enterprise for this to work. So if you pretty much didn't have the option, just use like method two, one or two, and you should be better off. Regardless, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing you do, you can pretty much go to the search bar, and all you have to do is type in GP edit, and pretty much it opens up the group policy editor that's pretty much right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and expand this and kind of slide this over. They can see the full text for it. And from there, we're pretty much gonna go to current configuration. That will be the user tier gonna be running off. And we're gonna choose administrative templates. And then we're gonna go to start menu and taskbar. And then from that list, you should have a special name that says permission to remove notification and action center. Sometimes this stuff is out of order. So I actually do go up and down to straighten this out. And then from there, just look for remove notification and action center. And I think I already saw it somewhere here. There it is, remove notification and action center. Go ahead and select it. And all you have to do is press enable and press apply and press okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just X this out. And I'm gonna go ahead and sign out again. I don't know why I keep pressing the shutdown and restart button. Regardless, sign out. I usually don't sign out, that's why. I usually just shut down and restart. Regardless, here it comes back in. And let's see what happens. And it looks like the action center is disabled. So if I go that same way again, going to system. And if I go to personalizations and go to taskbar and go to turn system icons on and off, it is grayed out. So it pretty much does the same thing what registry does. So to bring it back again, you can pretty much just type in, go to start and just type in GP edit and open it up, expand this. And I'm gonna go ahead and expand it again to show you. And we're gonna go to ministry of templates and we're gonna go to start menu and taskbar. And then from there, we're gonna to to scroll down, be sure it's in order that so you can actually can find it. And I think I just saw it right here. Where was that? Remove um, notification and action center. Remove, there it is right there. And we're gonna go ahead and press this. You can actually put disable if you want to, or you can press not configured. I usually just choose not configured and press apply. Okay. And let me pretty much sign out again. I'm doing a different route this time. And let's sign back in. And here is the Action Center back and working again. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching from Houghton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.